I'm Becky Shaw from 93.5 WRQN here again today with Dave Phillips from Generators Plus. We're learning a lot about generators year-round. Anytime is a good time of year to be prepared for storms and flooding and tornadoes and ice storms because we're in Ohio and Michigan and you never know what might crop up, right Dave? Well, that's true. That's very true. Let's talk about installation. If they were to call you, I bet you've done this so many times you can get them <laughs> up and running fairly quickly. Yes, our typical installation is just one day. I come out there with the crews, and because you have to have the uh, electrical, obviously, and mm -hmm. then you have to have the pipe work done for the gas lines. Okay. And we take care of all of that. Um, I pull the permits because these are, all these jobs have to be permitted. Who knew? You yes. knew. Oh yeah, <laughs> we do. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, typically an installation is one day. Are we talking about portable ones for that whole house tour? No, these are whole house generators. Okay. And you've explained to me earlier about it depends what your setup is in your house, where your meters are, because you have to take all of that into account too. That's correct. We get into, a, every situation is different, every install, because some homes, when your meters are together, when you have an electrical meter and your gas meter on the same side of the house, mm -hmm. within say 10 feet of each other, that's a one type of installation, which is obviously goes a little quicker. Okay. However, if you have a gas meter at one end of the house, an electrical meter at the other end of the house, then we have to find out which way we run the wires, do we run the conduit across the house for the electrical, or do we run the gas line ac across the house for the gas line? Uh, that would all be determined on me looking at the installation, mm -hmm. which would be the most economical way to do it. And then we also run into situations where the generator is out away from the house a little bit, where we have to do trenching. Oh, yeah. So then we look at, you know, the distance of the trenching, what type of soil it is, and, right. and a lot of times if it's a long trench, we will get uh, somebody out there before the day before to dig the trench mm -hmm. and then we come in and do the install and so you would have them up and running for the next storm for the next wave of ice they would be all set and have that peace of mind that their generators plus generator was out there and ready to roll that's correct all right let's talk about people who say it can't be that complicated to do a portable <laughs> generator dave i'll just do it myself maybe not the best idea no maybe not I have a lot of people I think they're under the assumption that you just buy this generator you get a big cord and you plug it in and yes, that's it that's what I would think <laughs> <laughs> okay no it, does, it doesn't work that way is a lot of times they don't know the codes and they don't know the particulars on how you're supposed to do it or what size gas lines to run to the generator that's a, probably the number one fault we see when people do it themselves mm -hmm. and so what happens typically is they call us because the generator won't start or won't run properly. Right. And we'll go out there and we'll find out, well, okay, yes, you used this, the wrong size gas line. Or we'll have to tell them, you know what, you're too close to an opening in the house for the exhaust. Right. So you have to move that generator to be legal. And this is where we come in because we know exactly what needs to be done. I don't want to scare people, but it just seems in that little bit that you've told me right there that there are some dangerous issues at play there so why would you want to try to do that yourself i i wouldn't want to that's correct right that's correct you don't want to fool around with the carbon monoxide coming out no themselves. and gas lines and all of that why call you especially if you're going to get out there probably in the next day or so and get it taken care of anyway so that's correct so when people call you dave at generators plus i would guess they probably want to keep the furnace running that's one of the obvious things anything else that they ask you about when they call yes it's uh it's kind of unique how it's happened over the years when i started out the people, the biggest concern was the sump pump in the furnace. Right. Every, just about every call, that's the number one concern they wanted to buy the generator. Well, in the last year, it's turned around where I'm hearing that people are concerned about the grid. Uh -huh. They don't feel the grid's reliable, and they see that there's no new construction on the grid taking place. Mm -hmm. And when the grid does go down, you know, the utility companies are scrambling, and they just, mm -hmm. they band-aid it together, and then you go to the next storm. It takes one bad story in the news for them to call you about, you know, Detroit's without power for a week or some other city, and they know there's nothing you can do about that. You're just at the mercy of the power company. That's correct. Right. Yeah. And okay. People, and people want the security knowing that they have their power. Yeah, I would too. All right, so how do they find you now if they have questions about uh, how to be all set no matter what time of year it is? How do they get generators? Okay, plus? well, they can call us at 1 888 916. 9191 or then go to our website generatorsplus.com. Thanks Dave. You're welcome. <laughs>